Do you have the love of your life right now, but you feel you're about to lose her? Have you been trying to convince her to stay with you, but nothing seems to be working? Want to know what she really needs before she can stay with you? If you feel you're losing the love of your life right now, then trust me, I know how it feels. It's like being on the edge of a cliff. You feel as though if you lose your grip on your relationship, you'll die inside. I know that sounds a bit melodramatic, but make no mistake, the risk is real. If you fail to convince the love of your life to stay with you, then she'll leave you guaranteed. That's the bad news. Now here's the good news. You'll be glad to know that there is a way to save your relationship, and it all starts with knowing the root cause of why your woman will want to leave you in the first place. Why would the love of your life even consider leaving you? The root cause is this. You're not meeting her biggest, deepest need. What is it? Here's a hint. It's not your love. It's not your time or money, and it's not your undying devotion. So what does she really need? It's called the D Factor, and it's what this video is all about. You're about to learn what the D Factor is, why it's her biggest and deepest need, and how to give it to her. When you follow the tips in this video, then the love of your life will have absolutely no reason to leave you. In fact, she'll follow you, commit to you, love you, and support you the rest of her life. Sounds good? Before we jump into it, do take a moment to click the like button below. I'll tell you all about the D Factor right after you like this video. Believe me, it's not what you might expect. Ready to find out what it is? Then click like right now so we can get started on what the D Factor really is. I'll wait here till you do. Go click like now. Done? Great. Now, let me tell you all about the D Factor. The D Factor stands for the Dominance Factor, and that's exactly the biggest, deepest need of any healthy woman out there. She doesn't just want a strong, dominant man who loves her, she needs him. And don't believe a thing feminists tell you. This is Mother Nature's design. You see evidence of the D Factor everywhere you look. The happiest, most supportive wives out there are married to a strong, dominant man. He's that great, successful guy who'd protect them with his life. That means one thing for you. Your woman would never leave you if she sees you as the strongest and most dominant man in her life. And that leads us to the problem right now. Obviously, she doesn't see you as that guy, and that's why you feel you're about to lose her. Now, you might be thinking, but Fredo, I'm doing everything for her. I'd protect her with my life. I'd sacrifice anything for her. Why doesn't she love me the same way? Well, I'd hate to break it to you. Want to know why she doesn't see you as the strongest and most dominant guy in her life? It's precisely because of everything you've been doing to make her stay. Here's the paradox. The more you beg and plead and work hard for her to make her stay, the weaker she sees you. Think about it for a bit. Here she is, a woman, and here you are, a man who's losing his mind trying to make her stay. In other words, you're showing her that she, a simple woman, has power over you. And that's the exact opposite of strength and dominance. See the problem now? You're giving her the exact opposite of the D factor. Instead of dominance, you're giving her doubt. That's why she's not sure about staying. And it's also why you feel you're about to lose her. So the more you've been trying to make her stay, the closer she is to leaving you. I hope you realize the danger you're in right now. Now, luckily enough, your problem has a solution. I'm about to show you how to turn your whole situation around. You're about to learn how to make her suddenly see you as the most dominant man she's ever met in her life. And you'll do that by using a special technique called loss aversion. Yup, you heard that right. So how does the loss aversion technique work? I'll tell you in just a bit. For now, have you learned something new and valuable in this video so far? If you have, then do show your appreciation by taking a moment to subscribe to this channel. After you click subscribe, I'll show you how to get back the love of your life and make her stay forever using the loss aversion technique. Fair warning though, you've probably never heard of this technique before anyone else because it's really rare. Sounds interesting, right? Then click subscribe now and I'll tell you all about the loss aversion technique. Go ahead. Have you subscribed? Awesome. 
so let me tell you about the loss aversion technique. The inventor of this technique is the mentalist and dating coach Derek Rake. He's also my friend and mentor. Unlike most dating coaches, Derek Rake doesn't teach pickup artist tricks. Instead, he sticks to hard sciences like applied psychology and mind control. Derek teaches his students not just to seduce women, but to get them to be emotionally dependent on their boyfriends or husbands. That is, Derek would tell you to make your woman feel emotionally addicted to you. Yup, you heard that right, addicted. It's not enough that she loves you and feels attracted to you. If she's not addicted to you, she'll eventually leave you for some guy she is addicted to. That's how the female mind works. Call it a female mental loophole if you must. And it's that mental loophole that the loss aversion technique exploits. So how does the technique work? The key is to give her a taste of what her life would be like if you weren't around. The first step is to take a time out with her. You simply come up to her and tell her, you know what, I think we should take a time out. I think it would give both of us time to do some soul searching. And no matter what she says, you stick to your guns. You're going to have a time out, end of story. Then, assuming she finally agrees, you take one or two weeks off from each other. During that time, you do whatever you want to do, but you avoid contacting her. Instead, you wait for her to contact you. Most times, she'll contact you within a few days. Now here's the critical juncture. When she's just asking how you are, and she's not asking you to come back, then here's what you should do. Tell her you're doing just fine. Do not offer to come back together. She has to ask you first. On the other hand, when she finally begs you to come back, that's your cue. You lay out some new terms for your relationship. You can say, I'd be happy to get back together, but I want a few changes to happen. And then you lay out your new terms. Your terms will be up to you, but it's best if they help establish you as the dominant one. Here are some examples. Number one, in your relationship, your word is final. She supports it or stands aside. Number two, she must respect your decisions, even if she might disagree with them. Number three, she is to never criticize you in public. Number four, you'll be taking Friday afternoons off with the fellas, etc., etc. You get the idea, right? By this time, she'll be so desperate to have you back that she'll agree to whatever you say. And so you get back together. Only this time, you firmly establish your dominance. And she couldn't be happier. See how the loss aversion technique works? Now, you might be thinking, Fredo, that sounds really risky. I don't know if I can do that. If that's how you feel, then that's okay. It is risky, but it also gives you a fighting chance of keeping the love of your life. After all, if you do nothing, she will leave you anyway. On the other hand, there is an alternative that's much less risky. It's a technique that's even more powerful than loss aversion. It's called fractionation. Like loss aversion, fractionation makes your woman feel more and more addicted to you. Only this time, you won't be taking any big risks. That's because fractionation can be used anytime. That includes even during your everyday conversations with her. You just have conversations, you say the right words, you pull the right emotions, and slowly, steadily, she gets more and more addicted to you. That's how fractionation works. Now, the technique is a bit too complex to explain in a single video like this one. That's why I'll let Derek himself teach you all about it. In just a moment, a link will pop up inside this video. Click on it, and you'll be sent to an online masterclass on mind control. That's where Derek Rake will teach you how to be a master at fractionation. That way, you'll never have to worry about losing the love of your life. That's because every single conversation you have with her will endear you to her more and more. That's a great deal if you ask me. Remember, if you don't make her addicted to you, you'll lose her. Believe me because it's true. So give it a shot. Click the link and join Derek's online masterclass now.